presence of life detected on Mars. If you hear a piece of news like this, what will be your reaction? Will it be joy or fear? There are around 100 billion galaxies with about 100 to 1,000 billion stars in each of them. Most of the stars have the presence of planets around them. This means that there must be thousands of habitable planets out there. That is, there must be countless opportunities for the formation of life. Either we must be alone in this universe, or we are not. But if we think about it, aren't both possibilities terrifying? So let's consider the Milky Way. Do you know how many stars there are in our galaxy? Up to 400 billion. That is, there are 10,000 stars for each speck of sand on Earth. Amazing truth indeed. Within that, there are 20 billion stars like the Sun. And in that, one out of every five stars will have habitable planets around them. Even if there's at least a 0.1% life in them, there will be at least 100 million planets. Most of them are older than the Earth as well. For that reason, there are high chances that the civilization formed there will be more advanced than ours. There are three theories about an advanced space culture. Type 1 civilization, Type 2 civilization, Type 3 civilization. Type 1 civilizations will have the ability to use all the energy sources from their stars and nature. We have achieved self-sufficiency of only 0.73% in this category. That is, humans can reach Type 1 civilization only after two to 300 years. Now let's look at Type 2 civilization. For this category, they will have the technology to use their star's energy completely. That is, they will have the technology to retrieve the full energy of a star by covering it partially or completely with a complex structure. Even though it may seem impossible when we think about it, the truth is that it is technically possible. Now, it's Type 3 civilization. This category can rule a complete galaxy. Their technical knowledge exceeds our imagination. Let's come back to our case now. According to some scientists, if there are spaceships that can travel with energy sources lasting up to 1,000 years, such a civilization can completely colonize our Milky Way within two to three billion years. Two to three billion years may seem like a long time. However, when considering the formation of the universe and its development, it is a very short duration of time. It only has the value of our single minute so compared to the relatively unborn Earth, where are the aliens that appeared on other planets? Welcome to the Fermi Paradox. Basically, the Fermi Paradox can answer both questions, but cannot prove it. Firstly, it's the fact that we are alone in this universe, or that we are the only ones who have overcome the obstacles of the evolution of life. Because all the life that existed on the planets before us was destroyed in various cosmic obstacles and crises, like the extinction of the dinosaurs, all living beings and the planet itself might have been exhausted from overcoming such a crisis. Obstacles we haven't faced yet might be waiting for us in the future. Secondly, each developing civilization might have either collapsed or been destroyed. We have seen that all the civilizations that have emerged so far have been destroyed in their greed for more. Aren't we the perfect example of creating an array of atomic bombs all over a planet with a single switch? So, are we alone in this universe? And if so, will it be for good? Whichever side you're on, the idea that we might be alone in the universe raises complex scientific 
and philosophical questions. Should this rarity be celebrated or despised? What does it mean that humans are the only conscious creature in the universe? The Fermi Paradox is a very complicated subject. For that reason, as you have noticed from the title, this is its first part. We'll meet at the next video with some terrifying discoveries.